We're here with another solo modded moon showcase. Last time we went to Duplictus, and in that video I was talking about how I wish that there was a moon that focused on like outdoor parkour challenges, and maybe even just made a whole moon themed around that. Kind of like Only Up or the Valorant Jump Puzzle or something like that. I even started a thread in the modded Lethal Company Discord. Don't think anyone's responded to that one yet. But in the comments for the Duplictus video, someone mentioned that there was a pretty decent parkour on the map Polaris by Magic Wesley. So we're gonna go check out that moon today. Polaris is meant to be a late game moon as it says that the difficulty for this moon should be between Dine and Titan. So I don't expect to get very far here, but the, the reason why I'm here in the first place is to check out that parkour. There's also some other cool stuff that Magic Wesley seems to have added to this, so we'll go check that out. Polaris normally costs 650 credits, but I've made it zero for this run. I'm also gonna buy pro flashlights and shovels, which are also just made free. I think it'll just make the showcase a bit easier. Population, sacrificed slash deceased. Conditions, cold, wet, snowy terrain, supports plant life. Fauna, a balanced ecosystem, creatures support very aggressive behavior. Not sure what it is about modded moons and starting with stormy weather on day one, but I think we're just gonna go for it. I also mentioned some, ooh. Okay, well, immediately change in lighting on the inside. And look, we can actually let's go just run it and look at the exterior. Wait, a worm just popped out. Okay, Is that me or is that like a really long worm? Uh, look at look at this. I I like this already. Uh, we're gonna see if the dropship works on this map. I'm gonna stand outside if I can potentially get struck by lightning. Definitely went with like a similar snowy theme to Ren and Dine and Titan. Oh. Cool. Oh, perfect. But this one's a lot easier to see. I mean, there's no fog or anything. Oh, and the items actually drop outside of the outside of the dropship too, which is a nice change as well. Um, looks like there's a lift we gotta take. Or rather, a descent. Now, I'm, I'm pretty confident holding this shovel this, despite the weather, because I did uh, in a comment on Werps's video about update 49. It was talking about how like I'm hearing stuff. Day one for a st oh, it's the water. I'm hearing water. Sick. On day one for stormy weather. Um, it is less likely for... Sorry, I keep hearing things and it, it's just making sure that I'm looking at things. Looks like there's going to be a jump puzzle here with the um, little ice particles. It's kind of fun. Reminds me of the mini game in... Uh, is it Pummel Party? The... Like the horror, not horror, but like the Halloween-ish themed board game. Yeah, where you have to race people. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of unfamiliar noises, and I like that they're even there. I just have to make sure that I'm not hearing things correctly. So I, I'm basically listening out for masked enemies and... Yeah, make sure I don't die. This also reminds me of the jump puzzle on Egypt, that the modded moon themed around Egypt, which was the first modded moon I played that even had a, a parkour. And I thought that was cool, and I, I hope to see more of this, because I think this is awesome. But it looks like there's multiple ways to go, because this looks like the main way, but I kind of just went around it. That's fine. I really like the colors. Looks like we're getting... Um, ooh, silver coin. That's a new item as well. Um, there's supposed to be new scrap items exclusive to this map. Undelivered letter? I'm still hearing... Okay. Um, well, we'll, we'll read that if we're able to bring it back. I wonder why the worms are triggering. It's worth 22. Um, there's a bit of background noise that's going, like, thing in the background. Maybe that, ooh, a safe. 154, undelivered letter four. Looks like we're gonna have some lore here if these are gonna be numbered. I could just bring these back 
Because this is already a full inventory. 251. Especially if it's gonna be a higher difficulty moon. Mm. Which is fine. It kinda gives me Okay, I'm just hearing fireplace. Ice crystal. That's nice. And it's one-handed as well. What does this remind me of? This reminds me of some sort of video game item. 305. I think we're at least going to check very close in the exterior. Uh, but I was saying, it kind of reminds me of Titan. Nice silver coin. With the fact that there's just a bunch of scrap right at the entrance. Which is good to see, and that's also a very different experience than I've had with modded moons in general. A lot of times, like, uh, it can be kind of hard to come across loot, but so far... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man. I just barely saw that in the corner of my eye, dude. Alright. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get some stuff here. Let's start taking it out. Uh-oh. I forgot. And hopefully we don't die now. Okay. I think the coin is what's conductive. So we're gonna take the non-conductive stuff first. Well, we're gonna try to take this safe at least. I think it's the... Okay. We're gonna take this parkour because it looks fun. Oh. Okay. So I wonder if I, could, if I make this jump. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh. Okay, just struck twice. Um... Hopefully that worm doesn't kill me while I'm here. I don't know if I... Please, for the love of God, be the safe. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm like, full concentration right now. And it seems like these aren't conductive, which is nice. I'm just waiting to get struck by to get struck by lightning at some point. <laughs> How do we move forward from here? Do I make this? Limit testing the jumps here. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm limit. Please. I live this. I feel like I barely lived that. Okay. Oh, there's a giant! Bro. Wait. I think it sees me. Please don't be a giant up here. I don't know. I don't know if I make it back. <laughs> I kind of want to come back to this moon and check out the rest of the exterior. I don't think um, getting the loot in stormy weather will be that important right now. It is kind of unfortunate, but dang, it got dangerous real fast. Oh, it's also 7 o'clock p.m. I almost got smited by a worm just now. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, but that was fun. Let's see what the overall loot value is on day one. 1659, that's very good. I've also just realized I forgot to scan. Um, it is what it is. Let's get another pro flashlight, get another shovel. 
Is it still stormy? Okay, well, I left metal objects on the moon, so stormy shouldn't be that bad this time. Because when you leave objects on the moon while it's stormy, um, you won't get any more conductive scrap. The lightning will still conduct on the previous, um, on the previous moon. Looks like there's a ladder over on this side. I'm gonna th it. Oh, yeah, you can climb both sides. I don't wanna... Cool. But there was also a hill over on the other side. I wonder if you can go to that watchtower. I'm glad that there's this, though, so that way you can... Um take different routes because maybe maybe like the lift is being guarded by like a giant or something and you don't want to deal with oh I forgot I forgot about the items <laughs> Woo! almost got RNG yeah so even though I left scrap on the previous moon and items won't be conductive I can still get RNG out of the game um I guess I'm not gonna focus on getting the flashlight and shovel I'm not gonna get there in time but I think I want to go up that hill before I proceed. It's over on the other side. But also, I can't believe I made it back to the ship so late. 7 o'clock p.m. But I guess it's because I was trying to move conductive a conductive item on, um, on a stormy moon on a jump puzzle. That was cool, though. The moving pe like, needing the moving pieces. It also made me really test how far you can act. Oh, actually, we're gonna go here first. I didn't even see this as an option. This also feels like sandworm territory because that's kind of where the worms are coming from. Um, okay, straight doesn't look like a way. I'm gonna go this way. There was a, a metal fence over in this direction. So I guess that on this day, we're gonna go over here. Um, yeah. This kind of reminds me of, like, the deep north in Valheim a little bit. Or, I guess... Oh! Did I almost get killed by an icicle? That's crazy. So I guess I have to be careful. Let's see. Okay, well, if I just run under it, I'll be okay, I think. <laughs> Imagine if you have a- if you're with a group, like, whoever is right behind that person will just get destroyed. Wait, that's an entrance? I see lighting. Okay, we found one of the fire exits, let's go. But let's keep going, because I think there's probably going to be more, right? Okay, this- oh. This is where I came from, so this is a faster way. Yeah, maybe, maybe I won't try too hard for loot on this one. I think I'm just gonna get RNG'd by lightning first off. <laughs> um, and that's why Stormy is the best weather in the game. Um, you know, just a little bit of a lightning, a bit of a lightning jump scare. Let's see what the day two loot could have been. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't get to see it when you die. Um. Oh wait, but there was a number that flashed right there, right before. But let's go to the last day of this quota. Um, okay, no weather this time. And this time I'm going to remember to scan. We're gonna see how many objects there are here. 40 objects. Okay, so there is a lot of loot to be, uh, to be gained here. Is that a different worm model? Cause that's like, a really long model. Let's see. Also, it looks like... Um... It looks like that hill is just gonna end up into the maze that I came from. Yeah, ex let's see. I'm just gonna go confirm that right now. If I go left, I think it's gonna bring me down that hill. I wonder what can bring me up, though, because I see that there's a building over there. If I don't find a path, I'll probably just jetpack on the next day. 
It makes me want to... Yeah, this looks like it's going to go down. Are these icicles going to smite me? Okay. I like this. I keep... I keep hearing sound effects. That, that one was just the worm popping out of the ground like super, super fast. Oh, gotta run. I don't know if these are lethal or not, you know. I'd imagine that these just kill you in one shot because that would be super hilarious if that happened to you in your run. Or hap if it happened to your friend, even. I'm gonna assume that running into icicles means you're going in, in the correct direction. Or in the direction of something worth checking out. Right? Oh. <laughs> Not falling for that. Oh. There's definitely people who will die to that. Get an audio log here. Captain's log. Log four. Location Polaris. Okay. Polaris. Alright, that was a 10 out of 10 audio log. The lady went crazy with that voice reading. It sounds like that might be a continuation of the letters that I was finding inside the facility. So it might be fun to revisit this moon and try to get all five letters and see what the lore is. And um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be something I do today on this run, but I will definitely be back. Because, um... I guess the reason why I haven't been to this moon yet is because, um, oh, there's a blob outside. Hello. Is because even this this map has been on my radar, but so has Magic Wesley as a modder. Bro, let me finish my thought, man. <laughs> okay. So like I was saying, uh, Magic Wesley as a modder has been on my radar, and they have made quite a few moons, that, so much so that there's a separate mod pack to play on Magic Wesley's moons. I think there's like five or six of them now. And I wanted to do an Iron Man, or try to do an Iron Man on all of them. But I didn't want to do that solo. I wanted to bring like at least one friend or so, and then we would check out all the moons all at once, but I w decided to check this one out early because of the jump puzzle. And got, not only got a jump puzzle, but we also got a maze. That was also one of the ideas that I uh, proposed in the thread, or asked for on the modded Discord. Like, uh, if someone made a maze or something, because sometimes there's not really a lot of incentive to really explore the moon. Or, I mean, you can explore the moon once, I guess. 
and it's cool to check out the aesthetics. But then after that, if you want to play on it again, then you just kind of have to play on it like a regular moon. But if there was some sort of challenge attached to it, such as like a jump puzzle parkour that's like actually challenging or a maze that can be or a maze that can be there's a giant spawning there. Um, I think I'm going to die soon. Or, um, dude, I kind of want to see how these dogs interact with this stuff over here. Okay, well, I'm drowning now, unfortunately. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. But I... Um, now I've lost my chain of thought because that wasn't supposed to happen. Dang it, I, I actually just, I actually just blanked. That's crazy. Um, jump puzzle, oh yeah. So different moons with different challenges. So mazes, jump puzzles. I was wondering if some, if it was even possible to make like an escape room type thing. Kind of, kind of basically just turning like the Lethal Company exteriors into uh, like a forge mode type deal. To where the moons aren't designed to actually be played on like per regular lethal company standards but more so the exterior provides its own challenge so the goal isn't really to go into the interiors it's to really explore the exterior speaking of explore the exteriors i'm actually just getting a foggy moon on the last day that's super disrespectful i was gonna jetpack around and see if i missed anything but i guess i'm not gonna do it right now i'm gonna have to reload and do that so let's do that real quick i don't know why i'm ejecting i can just restart and it'll be way faster um, but yeah, because I remember, I, I mean, I haven't really been too active in the, like, modded moon scene or, like, the modded Discord. Um, but I remember when I used to make modded moon videos, there would be a lot of complaints about how the modded moons didn't have, uh, modded interiors or whatever. Like, there was, as, like, a lot of people would say there's no point in having a modded moon if the interior wasn't modded as well. But I, I was kind of, like, not really a big fan of that take. Because I think there, there's a lot of work that already goes into making a moon. And at the time, like, uh... Oh, I mean, even even now, really, just adding... Okay, now we get stormy. Oh, and now it's not gonna be... It's gonna be conductive, because it's a new... Um, it's a new run, also. Hmm. Okay, we'll buy a shovel, too. Well, we'll leave the shovel. I don't want to get lightninged while I'm... Um, doing this fly-through. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of the take that modded moons also had to have modded interiors, because I was just kind of grateful that the modded moons existed in the first place. But nowadays, there's a lot of modded interiors, or definitely more so than before, so that's kind of cool. But, yeah. I mean, it's not- I don't think it should be expected for each modded moon to have an interior to match it. But if someone just made the exterior the playable area, like the intended playable area, then there's no need to worry, even worry about an interior at that point also. So, yeah, if any if any modders are watching or listening to this, it would be super cool if this uh, exterior jump puzzle slash challenge aspect was expanded upon in future iterations. And if I catch wind of anything like that happening, then I'll for sure be playing on them at some point. So, yeah, thanks for... Uh, showing me this moon in the first place because I, I think this one would have been like even deeper in the in the queue for for videos if I didn't if I wasn't made aware of the jump puzzle on this one and like so far I'm enjoying this moon a lot just aesthetically like it's aesthetically pleasing I think it's pretty hard to pull off an aesthetically pleasing snow area but the lighting's good um the loot's good the out exterior is super creative Every, uh, everything about it so far very great it doesn't have a it doesn't have its own interior but i mean like like i said i don't think that matters all that much i do think like an ice cave interior similar to like the valheim ice caves would be super sick but i again as i think we should just be grateful that someone's even able to put stuff like this there, there's even like what's it called outdoor hazards such as like the like the icicles Whatnot. They got an audio log with some awesome voice acting, actually. Got They got lifts, they got ladders, dude, like... What else? They got watchtowers that you can actually jetpack to? I'm gonna go do that. And hopefully not die. 
I want to go see what's up here. Because surely they don't just put this up here for nothing. Oh! Okay. I must have held down too long. Let's uh, try that again. <laughs> My bad. It's been a minute since I used the jetpack. Let's go. Um. Oh. Let's go. I'm just gonna play it a bit more safe, I guess. I've never had a jetpack like this far for anything, so. See, now I'm just playing it really safe because that was real dumb that I blew up there. Okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to be up here, but I'm up here anyway. And we're gonna check the bottom just in case. That took about half my jetpack to get here. But yeah, okay, doesn't look like there's anything at this one. Um, I do have a bird's eye view now, though. That would be another thing that would be cool, too. If there were, like, easter eggs that you could only reach using certain equipment as well. Um, because buying a jetpack is just, especially nowadays, is very useful. And if there were, like, jetpack-specific, uh, easter eggs, that would be sick. Maybe even, like, uh, oh. Let's just check all the... I'm just, oh, ow. Oh, this is- this one's a fire exit. Okay. I'm gonna run out of jetpack here unless I refuel, so... Oh, there's more than one fire exit, okay. Uh... I must have overused the jetpack. Let's go fly to all the towers, at least. Imagine if there was like a exterior that had like a flight path or something or like a like a flying challenge too just you have to be able to navigate through through this area with a jetpack and live. I think there's a lot that can be done like with with lethal company exteriors. But I'm just throwing my ideas out there because I'm not going to be making the moons myself anytime soon, so my hope is that there's someone out there that will hear, that'll hear these ideas and just absolutely run with them and make them a reality. Cause that's really the best I can do, you know. Just kind of throw the ideas out there and see if it if it sticks with anyone who has the capability of making it happen. Um, but yeah, shout outs to all the people who are making mods for Lethal Company. You guys are doing an absolutely fantastic job, and I've been having a blast playing with all of these. And look, there's two more fire exits actually. So I'm glad I bought this jetpack to take a look, because it would have taken me probably... Ooh, that's its own... Like, a uh, sandworm skin. I feel like sandworms don't get a lot of love, because they don't get a lot of screen time, but maybe that's why they spawn in so much, so that way we can actually see them in action. And that's, maybe that's why they have one spawn in right at the beginning as well. But yeah, just look at all these different textures, too. Different color. I wonder if the I wonder if the sandworm is part of like, the, just part of this area in particular. It it looks kind of safe, but in reality, it's just a boss area. Frozen Lake boss. Oh yeah, it's kind of consistent right through. <laughs> That's funny. This it has it, like this this moon has a lot of potential for just super funny moments. I think I'm gonna go through this clip, whatever this is. Um, it looks like I'm under a tower. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I was just inside that. Okay, and then I think... <laughs> I cannot fly this properly. Um, I'm gonna go check out that last tower over there. In the... And then probably call it... Call it a video. Let's see. I mean, the the those towers at the top haven't really shown too much, but maybe there's something I'm I'm missing still. Maybe I'll check where that where that worm is jumping from. Also, maybe there's like a parkour in the back. 
Okay, so now now the issues with my mouse are really showing. Um, the left click on my mouse kind of uh, losing its uh, its clickability, as you can see, which is not really ideal for a jetpack flight, because I lose a lot of momentum when that happens. But it is what it is. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna assume that there's nothing up there, actually. But yeah. If you want to check out Polaris for yourself or uh, any of other of Magic Wesley's moons, I'll leave links to those in the description below. And uh, yeah, I think this is a 10 out of 10 modded moon so far. That like, that, that was probably one of my most enjoyable times spent spent on a moon. I mean, the, the entrances are still pretty far from the ship, but I think it has so much in between that I didn't even really notice. Cause that, that's usually the first thing I notice when it comes to modded moons. I, like, I, I n usually notice how long it takes. Okay, it's eclipsed, so I have to go right. Um, I usually notice how long it takes to go from the ship to the main entrance because that usually just gets to me with how difficult it is to get the loot to the ship. But I mean, I was just so entranced by the ex what the exterior had to offer that I wasn't even thinking about that. Like, I I spent maybe like thirty seconds in the interior this time, honestly. But all the a lot of the magic's out here. Let's see if there's any exterior differences. Okay, well there's a slime right upon spawn. Um, yeah, so we, I mean, that's the difference already. And, um, yeah. We're just gonna make one, one mad dash for the entrance. Let's see if it's worth it. It's crazy that if you miss a jump, you just die. But I guess that was the same on Egypt, too. Doesn't look like there's much lighting difference for the exterior here. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, definitely take your friends here. The There's a lot of fun that can be had on this moon. And yeah, if you if you have like unfavorable opinions about modded moons, hopefully this uh, this one can help change your mind. Now I'm excited to go play on uh, Magic Wesley's other moons as well. Looks like I'm also gonna make it to the main entrance just fine. So I'm gonna go check out this tower, even though I feel like I I checked this one out already. But also, what's this? Uh, Mago, I can't keep adding signs. You are prohibited from drowning. Seriously though, these are not puddles. It's more of a lake, actually. Um, what's the bottom say? Or a big puddle of some sort. Looks like there's actually stuff back here. Kind of want to run back here also. Probably one more fire exit. But if there's anything that I missed on this map, let me know in the comments. Because... Um... Oh wait, no, I ran back here with the dog before, right? Yeah. Okay, that'll be it for this video. Subscribe for more Lethal Company stuff. I'll be doing more mod solo runs and modded moon showcases in the future, but that'll be it for this one on Polaris. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.